This is Sherry Boshert reporting for Global Medical News Network. The three large clinical trials of glycemic control in patients with diabetes, ACCORD, ADVANCE, and the VADT trial, may leave clinicians wondering how to incorporate those findings into their clinical practice. Dr. Richard Bergenstahl, the president of science and medicine for the American Diabetes Association, put it all into perspective for clinicians at the ADA's annual postgraduate course in San Francisco. These are three really important studies that we're trying to ask, was glucose control important in preventing cardiovascular disease? And I think we have to step back once and say, well, is glucose important overall? And so I think one message is glucose control is still important. It prevents microvascular disease. It prevents eye, kidney, and nerve disease if you get your A1C down to around 7%. So everyone still seems to think that's important. Now, these studies showed that it was not so helpful for uh, heart disease. For cardiovascular uh, disease, that good glucose control seemed to be fairly neutral when you took all three studies together. That it didn't improve it, it didn't hurt it, and one study, the ACCORD trial, showed if you tried to push for an A1C down to less than 6%, certain individuals uh, may actually um, have harm or have a higher mortality. So I think the takeaway is that an A1C around 7% uh, or just a little less will prevent or minimize microvascular disease and do no harm to heart disease in most patients. That the takeaway is we really shouldn't or don't need to be aiming for an A1C as low as less than 6%. And do you think maybe all the focus on A1C has diverted attention from other things that clinicians should be paying attention to in their practice? Well, I think A1C is sort of a natural expression of diabetes, but it, sometimes when we only talk about that, we forget about that uh, diabetes needs to be treated in a multifactorial way. We need to get the blood pressure down to a target somewhere around 130 over 80. We need to get the LDL down around that 100 mark or maybe a little less. Uh, we need to look at patients' quality of life uh, and issues that they are concerned about. So yeah, I think A1C is important, but it needs to be just one of the markers um, of good diabetes care. For Global Medical News Network, this is Sherry Boshert.